Today we're checking back in with Ripple's XRP coin, performing some technical analysis and making some predictions on where we can expect to see XRP go in the near future. Let's get into it. Welcome back into the XRP chart guys. If you're looking to buy XRP or want some free Bitcoin, there are a couple of links down in the description of today's video. But in our last video, I mentioned we had a nice little uptrend which had formed right here. Basically from this day here on the 17th, the low of that day was sitting basically at 77 cents. And then we were moving upwards from that point. It was looking really good for us. And we did manage to break through that key point of resistance, which was sitting at 94 uh, cents, 94 cents. But unfortunately we weren't able to break past our 50 day moving average and our 50 day moving average at that time was sitting at roughly about here 99 now unfortunately we were not able to break that and as a result we saw a bit of a dump occur on the price and we fell through that resistance point that we just managed to get through unfortunately and continued moving in a downwards direction then breaking through that nice little uptrend we had as well it acted as support for us for a brief period of time but it broke and we're now down here sitting at 82 cents so unfortunately not what we were hoping would occur it did look like things were starting to turn around for xrp but unfortunately it was just not meant to be at this point in time this little uptrend that we've got sitting here now not really of interest this downtrend yes I, i'm gonna extend that one out because it may come into play if the price drops we may see a bounce off it at some stage hopefully not i don't expect to get that low but there is the possibility but right now basically i'm gonna put in another point of support basically here at about 80 cents shuffling that one across that is going to be a major point of support for us moving forward ideally what we're going to see now is this price is coming down. We see today a bounce off that point, get back through that 20 day moving average and hopefully retest 94 cents again. That would be the ideal scenario. And this is where, as you can see, our 200 day moving average is sitting. And obviously, as we saw, that was a big catalyst, I think, for this nice little green period we had here. When we broke through that, it was, I suppose, a big tick of approval for buying to occur, but we couldn't break through that 50 day moving average what we don't want to see and what looks like is about to occur is that 50 day moving average is going to cross below the 200 day moving average so one's at 95 cents the other's at 94 cents so actually i lie they're both sitting at 94 cents so not in a great position at this point in time but hopefully we see a bit of momentum coming in a bit of buying action uh it's pretty on and off when it comes to xrp there hasn't really been like a downwards trend this is more, I'd say, of a trader's coin at this point in time. But overall, taking all things into consideration right now, it looks like we need to see a bounce off this point of support before we start to move up again. Let's have a look at a few more indicators. MACD, we did see a nice little cross occur when we were getting to the tight segment of things here. Uh, of course, we're now unfortunately seeing the opposite occur. The 12 day EMA crossing back below the 26 day EMA, not a strong indicator. If we zoom in, you can see they're just touching at the moment, they haven't crossed. Unfortunately though, that is a big sell signal for anyone who is trading this coin. So you may see this point of support at 80 cents be breached purely due to that. And that would not be great for the coin and we'd likely be dropping, you know, even further potentially, let's say probably to about here to be honest, 70 cents is the next likely point of support that we could see for this coin. So I'll just put a line in there to mark that point for you guys. Potentially that is worst case scenario for us. Hopefully it does not occur. Let's bring in the RSI as well. You can see it's on the lower side still sitting at 42.05, but still within our acceptable range. Ideally, what we want to see is some buying momentum coming in. There is plenty of room for us to move and a retest of that key point of resistance at 94 cents, where we have our 200 day and 50 day moving averages, massive resistance points for us right there. Hopefully as well, get back above that 20 day moving average. If I was to predict what was going to occur, 
Based on the MACD, I'd be suggesting that we're breaking downwards, unfortunately, to that 70 cent mark. It is a pretty reliable indicator in general. What I'd like to see though, is a bounce off this 80 cent point of support for us, and then we move back up here to the 94 cent. That is my ideal scenario. I don't think it's going to happen though, unfortunately, just because of the MACD. I think we're gonna see a dip down potentially to that 70 cent mark. That wraps up our XRP analysis for today, guys. I'd love to know your thoughts on XRP and where it's going to go in 2022 down in the comments section below. Of course, if you did enjoy today's analysis, make sure you hit the like button. And if you want to see more of this sort of content, hit subscribe. I'll leave it there, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Cheers.